Hello guys and welcome back to another video. And today we are in Microsoft Flight Simulator. Well, it's the same day as the day I posted the Trevor Jacob video. But you know, I said in my other video, that video that I was gonna do it says the 152 engine failure in the same, you know, mountains in the land, you know? So you know it looks kind of you know the same, everything. Uh Hold on. I'm gonna go distort. Yeah, that's the really that's a really bad angle. There you go. That's that's the angle we need. That's proper angle. There you go. So now we have the uh, <coughs> the aircraft turning at a good angle. We are able to fly now. All right, and have the most important part, the engine failure of the video. All right. So we just mess with the trim and everything. There you go. And we're good. Turning off the aircraft. Now, all right, aircraft is turned off. We have an engine failure. So the first things you need to do is again, uh, is try to turn on the aircraft. Now the problem here is with Microsoft Flight Simulator is uh, the yoke is always in the way. So if you're in real life, you want to actually remove yoke to turn on your key. It's like this is the view of Microsoft. So I'm trying to start it up and you know, all that stuff. Uh, doesn't want to start up. You would obviously mess with a couple of fuel switches, like the mixture, all that stuff. But the mixture is the reason why we have an engine failure. So we we won't because we're just we're purposely having an engine failure right now. So I just I just want to show you what the procedures are and how it's easier to fly. It says the 152 with an engine failure. Uh, I do see a lot of patches of good, you know, quiet land here, which is actually really nice. And I could possibly even land it on the mountain, like that slope there. Get a zero feet per minute landing on there, you know? <laughs> uh, anyways. Um, I'm gonna see how high we are, just make sure that we're all good. Um, we're about going we're about to hit under a thousand feet or actually at a very low speed where the uh gyro is actually not picking up any enough wind to let the horizon run because now and now it is that little red thing tells you that uh you don't have enough you know speed to you know, have a horizon or the engine will actually um that's a lie my bad the engine will run that for you so now that the engine's off, the the it's not picking out of wind and thrust from the engine. That uh, no, it just depends off the wind that we're gliding off of right now. Now we're in this spot nearby water, which is water's not really that good. Uh, we can land on this mountain here, or we can land in the water. Which I've tried that before. I tried landing in the water in Microsoft Flight Simulator. It doesn't end out too well to self so our speed six about 60 knots great good 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 we got 60 knots beautiful now 60 knots is a, a very good speed for this aircraft especially when you have an engine failure you probably want to maintain it there because it's you know like it, it's what's well, a small aircraft it doesn't need much weight depending on your passengers too uh, how much weight you got back in the cargo section out there uh, it can really depend on your speed and glide it's hoping you're very lightweight when this happens and not heavy uh, we are at 60 knots still maintaining that speed uh, I'm about to hit this little slope why is Microsoft on some other scenery so weird to hit those trees I was gonna land on that empty patch I have too much speed. So 16. Alright, here comes a landing, I think. I'll put some flaps now. Are we over the river? Oh, oh. Stall warning, stall warning. I hate, I hate the stall warning. It's, it's scary, it's scary. <laughs> alright, alright, alright. Here comes a very weird. A very dangerous landing actually this is actually very very dangerous indeed 
It's something you would never do. You, know, you shouldn't do ever. But this is really your life on the line. All right, landed, landed, landed again. <laughs> we got the brakes. Brakes. <laughs> So now what I did there, right, we couldn't see ahead of the cliff, just in case if we ever hit a cliff, which we are about to, believe it or not, um, I turn our, uh, our pedals here, like got a rudder and everything like that, so, obviously we have two pedals down here, you, move, you know, left, right, a lot of fun stuff, and that helps you move your, uh, nose landing gear, right, and I did that just in case of a cliff, like, that we're about to hit there, so, Good thing I did that, otherwise we probably would have been flying off the ground again. With flaps that would have slowed us down quickly. This is why you never want to use your flaps in, in an engine failure when, before you come in for a landing because you need that speed. But if you really can't maintain that speed uh, and you, you can't go you know, lower, put down those flaps because that's going to help you uh, keep glide. It's just that if you have enough glide to keep your nose down <coughs> and find a spot you want to land at, don't use those flaps because it's going to slow you down faster and you're probably going to end up stalling. I learned that in the other video I just did. I used my flaps too early and the next thing I found out was just I stalled out and was about to hit the ground. So that was never good. But yeah, we landed safely uh, and the Cessna 1752 can see another day or probably with some maintenance uh, on the landing gear. But Hey, it's better than having a full on broken plane like Trevor Jacob. So, uh, yeah, make sure to like and subscribe, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.